welcome one and all my fellow fans of Clash of Clans. Thank you guys so much for joining me. It is, of course, your host, Galadon, the host and creator of Galadon's Golem Gauntlet, here to talk to you a little bit about how I put this base together, the challenge that I hope you guys are enjoying, have enjoyed, or will enjoy. And uh, man, let me just tell you, first of all, it is a huge honor to be able to do this for you guys after nine years of content creation, never intending to do this full time, but here we are. And of course, now becoming the longest running Clash of Clans dedicated YouTube channel in existence. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you haven't already, now is a great chance to click on the subscribe button, turn on notifications, or even leave a like or a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Let's talk a little bit more about putting this together. Now it took me, I wanna say somewhere around 16 to 30 hours, roughly. I didn't log every hour that I spent on this, but it was a lot of work. It did take me almost an entire week solid of working on this, trying to get it right. I wanted it to be attractive, challenging, yet easy. And what I mean is remember that the vast majority of Clash of Clans players never watch a single YouTube video. They're not maxed out Town Hall 14 players. And they're going to have a lower skill level than the average YouTube viewer. You guys, many of you have found this crazy easy. You've destroyed it with, you know, one finger and one troop and one spell and one hero or less. And that's cool. But here's the problem. You want to make it challenging enough so that the pros have some competition where they can see, you know, how few spells, how few troops did I use, but easy enough that the average everyday clasher that doesn't focus on strategy and skill is going to be able to defeat it as well and not be frustrated. So that was probably the hardest part, adding and removing defenses and traps and moving things around and making it so that you couldn't just spam and win on the first try. You had to learn some strategy, some spell timing and placement to get it done correctly. Okay. So now the whole village itself was supposed to be built around this Stone Age caveman primal theme, right? The skin, the scenery, and everything else. So you've got lots of rocks surrounding the base. Now what I did hope was that we would have these barbarian kings kind of like, I don't know, kind of like cavemen sitting around. And I also thought it would be cool to do something really impossible to throw in so many barbarian kings that you might do a double take and be like, wait a minute, there's a lot of barbarian kings here. Now, of course, I did also throw in five headhunters to deal with them, but I just thought generally it would be cool to throw in a ton of barbarian kings. And ideally, I wanted them to have the primal skin on as well. Also, I wanted all of these camps to be filled with golems. I thought that would be a really cool visual effect to shock players by seeing a whole ton of golems but it looks like that's probably not going to happen at this point, but I'll have to wait and see what it looks like in the live game. This is again, the developer build. And this was my very first look at the scenery, which again, oh man, I mean, come on, the electro dragon in the cave. And uh, there's some bananas around here. And just, I thought this was a really cool looking scenery. I definitely liked it. And I, you know, I was looking for the bananas there to make sure they had the bananas and there's bear skins. Is that like, I don't know, foreboding, foreshadowing something to come to the game in the future? I don't know. And then at the very bottom of the screen, you have the skeletal remains of a huge, I'm assuming electro dragon as well, but a very cool scenery. And this was my first look at it. And back to the design of the base itself. Okay, so you've got Galadon's Golem Gauntlet. And the idea again is that you could pick this base apart. And if you use a little bit of strategy, you're going to annihilate it. In the very center is the idea of an actual gauntlet. I mean, you can't avoid going through the middle of this. And it's a Golem Gauntlet because Golems hate single target Infernos. They are everywhere. I love the fact that there are what? There's 10 of them, 10 single target Infernos that you have to deal with as you run through the gauntlet. Also, the idea of a gauntlet is you can't avoid the poison bomb of that town hall. It is there. You've got the weaponized builder huts as well. They're ready to try to repair anything in the middle. Everybody's going to have to go through that. Also, a quick shout out to Peter, $17. Of course, I had to include a gem box in the base design. We had to do that for Peter. Otherwise, he would have been very, very upset. Okay, now the scatter shots. Obviously, you're going to handle those separately. On the far left hand side, I surrounded the scatter shot with skeletons. On the right hand side, it's surrounded with giant bombs. You handle those two first, then they're not really an issue later in the attack. At the bottom, by the eagles, you have tons of tornado traps easily triggered before your main attack begins, but also trying to prevent just spamming everything at once. Then over here in an earlier iteration of the base, I had put like 12 hidden Teslas on the left-hand side in this big group by the sword 
handle. That turned out to be too difficult, so we removed those. I know, some of you pros are saying I should have left them in. And then we added the weaponized builder huts later, just to kind of close the gaps in the Gs and to help repair that core. I did also really want to put in like nine golems in the clan castle. <laughs> I don't know if that would have been fair, but yes. And then, of course, we wanted to have golems all over the place because it was kind of this stone primal caveman theme. Now, the expos. Notice, and this is a big one right here. One, two expos set to ground and air, and then four expos set to ground only. So the idea was if you roll in with your stone slammer on the top left, right about there, it is going to annihilate the ground expos that are going to otherwise fire on your ground troops as they come up through the middle. Now, again, I know that people are going to destroy this base from every possible angle in every possible way, but you have to realize that I didn't have enough time to sit down and decide on 10 different strategies to beat the base. Let's just come up with one and let everybody else come up with others. So yes, again, it wasn't easy. Shout out to the Clash of Clans team for putting things like this together. You've got to make it easy enough for the average Clasher to beat it, but challenging enough that you can't just spam and win and you let the good, good players figure out ways that they can beat it that are unusual. Okay, so let's go ahead and just attack it. I'm going to go in with my strategy and just see how this works out like I said. But overall, I had so much fun putting this together. It has been such an honor to be able to be in the game. Of course, creator codes, you know, that's one thing, but to have your own challenge in the game is super cool. And I will also tell you guys a little secret, and that is that I'm actually the one who came up with the idea of having content creators make challenge levels. So hopefully we will see some other exciting content creators come up with really cool and unusual challenge levels. I can't wait to see what Itsu would come up with. And then maybe eventually, what about you? What about the everyday clasher being able to put together challenges like this? I think that would be amazing. So let's just wait and see what happens. In the meantime, thank you guys again for using code Galadon, for subscribing to the channel, for making this a possibility, for making this happen. You guys have no idea how much you positively change other people's lives just by watching their videos, just by subscribing or liking or leaving a comment. These are all acts that really help out, that positively affect others. And so I just wanted to sincerely say one more time, thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch videos like this from me and from other content creators. Okay, so now you're gonna see something here that I thought was really appropriate. What would be the ideal number for Galadon to end an attack on in a video like this? Against his own base, against a challenge that I created, okay? Just, you're gonna wait and see here. Obviously, now I will tell you the Stone Slammer is OP in this challenge. If you use it correctly, it is going to crush. And again, that was the idea. I don't wanna make this so that players get super frustrated and rage quit and say, screw this challenge because it's too hard and you don't want it so easy that players could just roll over it by dropping every single troop in one spot and not using any strategy at all. So that was kind of the idea behind, hey, use some spell timing and placement, use the headhunters to take out the kings or at least counter them, take out the traps, deal with the scatter shots separately, face the gauntlet and use your Grand Warden ability timing at the right moment. And all of those things kind of come together in this challenge, I hope. But again, remember, something like 96.5% of Clash of Clans players will never see a single video on this. There are so many millions more players that don't watch YouTube videos that are just going to get out there and try to spam and win. And hopefully they'll learn a little bit about the mechanics of Clash of Clans, a little bit of a tease for those players that aren't at Town Hall 14 yet. Maybe they get to try some things for the first time. I think that's fun as well. It helps keep you inspired to continue on that journey to max out. And then, yes, here we go as time runs out. And I triggered the Stone Slammer because I figured we'd get through these last buildings a little bit more quickly. But what is the ideal percentage to end a Galadon attack on? I think you know by now. That's right. As time runs down, it is going to be 99%. So there you go. I hope you guys have enjoyed the challenge. Thank you again for watching the videos. Make sure you go back and watch how to beat this challenge. If you haven't beaten it yet, I put that video out yesterday. And again, fellow fans of Clash of Clans, thank you for being part of the Galafam, for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You were the true hashtag Galafam, that is why I love thinking about it and appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people. I'm going to end the planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Oh, sure. Plenty of time left here, but not in the challenge. Galadon! Galadon!
I want to make a challenge level next of all gym boxes. A million gym boxes. 